Good morning, I'm Elishan Pogo, head coach at Elite Frost BJJ. We have a lot of questions every week, but we're gonna get a lot of questions. And in your order is, how we escape from strong side control? Then I'm gonna show you right now, okay? Okay, guys, now I'm gonna show you the basic move you can practice by yourself, okay? Especially the beginning people. How you use the pendle of your legs and your hips, okay? First, you have to lay down and you make sure you have to use your elbow on the ground, okay? Now you start to pendle your hips and your leg, squeeze your core, okay? It's a good work for you to squeeze your core. And you start to pendle your leg, move your hips to the sideways, but don't touch your ankle on the ground. Just feel your balance. You can grab your collar and Keep doing for like one minute, okay? Okay, guys, now we're gonna show the same move but with the real situation. When a guy gets the side control, he has a strong grip and control your head like that, okay? The first thing you have to do block and protect yourself. Try to be smaller here, okay? Now, the same side is getting side control. I'm gonna touch my knee and his hips and put my foot over my other leg. And I have, I must tuck my arm here. I'm gonna grab his gear, and now I'm gonna start to free my head with my, my pendulum with my leg here, okay? Now, I'm gonna drive his body over my head when I start to pendle my leg here. One, and start to push him. When I hide my head and put my head under his chest, I can turn, grab his head, and take his back. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna show another variation when the guys get the side control. Guys, this is the situation where the smaller guys can escape from the side control against the head guys, okay? Then I'm start to first one block myself, protect myself for the time, grab his gear, tighten your arm. Start to the to the pendle, and when I have a advantage here, I'm gonna use my pendle and push him. When I push him, automatically I hide my head behind under his belly, and I'm gonna put my other hook, scissor my leg, and get a total position here. I'm do the double leg. I hold his leg with my hands, and I'm gonna drive him down with my chest, with my chest, shoulder, and head. And I got a good position, okay guys?